spinning and begin again. We have received our shoulder bolts for the clutch to be installed, so we're ready to do that. Also, we have lock wired everything underneath here. We've got our rod caps, nuts uh, lock wired, and also yeah, lock our journal nuts lock wired. So we're ready to seal this up. There's one more thing I think we're going to talk about before we put that oil pan on. But in the meantime, we're going to put the clutch on. Okay, the first thing we need to do is we need to get the clutch plate in. So we have this adapter here that's going to line up our clutch plate. Stick it in there. Actually, I think we put the plate in first. Camera. Hi, right. Mr. Camera. <laughs> Warren is having fun with the camera. So, first thing we need to do is get the clutch plate in place. We have our alignment tool that's going to, that locks into the splines of the clutch plate, it's going to go down into oh, oh, the bearing oh. of yeah, yeah. the flywheel. Okay. Awesome. And so, okay, and that's holding the clutch plate in place. Yeah, Next, place. we're going to put the clutch on. In place, um, we need to um, extractor it so, and, and we need to put it in place so no. it can um, Because get this was built. also balanced as part of the crankshaft. It yeah. has its painted mark on there to match up to this painted mark right here. So that means that we know uh, that we put it like this. That, um, how do you check? Is it checked? Yes. Does it work? Well, so. Okay, now we've got our bolts lined up. We're gonna yeah. put our special shouldered bolts in. Yeah. Nice. So, and the bolts are for, um, to should be Make fun. sure it's uh, stable in, in CDs. Those are the screws when we're going to build them in. Oh. <laughs> I see somewhere I can put it. Where? Right can there. I have some? Can I have one? You can put that one right in there. Okay. Thread it in. You have to make sure that that, that ring stays on. It's hard to see. Lock washer is what that's called. Let's figure out how we're going to get these uh, threaded down. Yeah, thread it down. Okay, there's just enough room for a socket to fit in there. Hallelujah. We're going to be able to do this normal. So go ahead, Raleigh, tighten up. I want to do one. Okay, bring it back. The thing about ratchets is they go back and forward. Can I do that? There you go. Go just until you feel like it's tight. You can do the next one. Like this one. Is that tight enough? Uh, yep. So I want you, Warren, to do, and I'm gonna get it started. Okay, I wanna put that one to the right. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Don't slap my cheek. Sorry. Hey, Raleigh, where is that? Hey, you're gonna make me fall.
Then I can only be build a dungeon. Okay, now that we've got them all started, let's finish installing them. Here you go, Warren. You finish. Really? I can do Pull. it. Pull. Okay. Pull. Okay, Raleigh. One, two. Good. Raleigh. Good. I'll do this one. All right. Okay, now we're going to torque that. Torque! Yep. Can I do one? 20 foot pound. Of course. Torque. First, we get it set up. So, first, we're torque. going to. Me first, torque. No, me first. Well, the book says to go in increments. <laughs> I got you put my fingers in your but mouth. We only have ten. It's a minimum, so. <laughs> Wait, that's Newton meters. I'm going to smell you. your mouth, okay? No. <laughs> I smell yours. There we go. All right, so here's ten. <laughs> I, keep it. I didn't smell it. <laughs> I, I didn't smell yours. <laughs> Really? <laughs> On camera, you're going to smell each other's fingers? No. Wow. Lord knows what's on your fingers having been in this garage. Uh, uh, probably keep uh, you healthy. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, 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 no, uh, There's ten. Can I do one? Okay. Porkers. Gentle now because I think we're getting close. Go a little hey. tiny click. Oh, did you feel that? Yeah, wanna... so that's 10. I might want to... We're going to do that all the way up and to what 20. Is this for? That's for releasing the clutch. Okay, here's the bottom end of the engine. Let's talk about the environment for a minute. Back in 1939, they really didn't care what came out of the engine, or what came out of the car, or got on the road, or got into the air, or anything like that. Now, what we have on our engines today is we have a positive crankcase ventilation system, and that means that any of the blow-by gases that leak past the piston rings and down here into the crankcase get recycled back through the combustion chambers and get burned up and sent out the exhaust in a much more clean fashion. Now, something else that's floating around in here is some oil vapor. Now, back in the day, I guess there was a problem before they started uh, venting the crankcase. They had a problem with um, blocks, engines blowing up, basically blowing the pans out, deforming the pans, stuff like that. So they started 
ventilating them. But what they did is they just basically made a road draft system, meaning that they have a little cutout on the back. This one has a little cutout on the back of the oil pan right here, that as air passes by, it creates a vacuum and sucks out those gases and vapors from the crankcase. I remember this tube that I had to get out of that one? That's what this is. This is the road draft tube that goes in the um, valve train valley and sucks out those gases. So what you can do on these is you can create your own positive crankcase ventilation. That way we aren't spilling out oil. That's something else that came out. That oil vapor would just come out that vent and just drip onto the ground. All of that stuff would just drip out onto the road and it created smog and nastiness. And from what I said, the, the quote was, uh, it made, it took the pleasure out of breathing. So we fixed that. So what I think I'm gonna do here is we're gonna prevent that draft from happening and we're gonna create our own positive crankcase, crankcase ventilation system to go back through the carburetor. But what I need to do is I need to kill this draft here. And how I think I'm gonna do it, I was thinking about plugging this hole, but then that might affect the seal of the oil pan. So I'm not gonna do that. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a plug, excuse me, I'm gonna get a plug for this tube because it's inside, nobody's ever gonna see it. Everything outside will look original. Uh, if anybody, you know, wants to criticize me, it'll still look original. But it will kill that draft and our positive crankcase ventilation system will work uh, without that um, free-flowing air going right out the oil pan. So I think we're ready to put the oil pan on. Okay, that's the oil pan installed. I've torqued it to 15 foot-pounds and gone around a number of times. It keeps compressing a little bit each time. Uh, I'm gonna let it sit overnight and then I'll come back tomorrow and check it again. Um, but hey, it's looking even more like an engine now. Oh, the great feeling of accomplishment. All right, until next time.